Hello my Tetsy friends, this is our next tutorial in our series on web scrapping using Python. I'm Scrappy and this is Worth Web Scrapping. There we go. Hello to everyone and welcome to World Web Scrapping. This is our next tutorial on web scrapping using Python. In today's video we are going to talk about how to scrap data from Glassdoor. So let's see the glass through the website. So uh, guys, uh, you might be aware that uh, you Glassdoor is a website where you can search for jobs and you can search for companies and you can search for the reviews of the companies. You can search for the also like uh, what kind of salary is they uh, paying and uh, a lot of uh, stuff you can search. So you can find the jobs also there. So today we are going to scrap data from Glassdoor regarding the jobs itself. So I have searched for uh, this uh, data scientist uh, jobs in LA. So in LA I have uh, searched for this uh, data scientist jobs and I'm going to grab data related to that. That I'm going to grab the name of the company, the position and the location where it is available. After that what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to all of the jobs and if we click on this, so I'm going to grab all of uh, that description also. So these are the four things uh, that we are going to do on Glassdoor. So guys, uh, let's uh, get to the code. So again, I'm importing my library's uh, request and beautiful soup and I'm defining my headers. So I just copied the headers from the browser and I pasted it in the, so these are my headers and sending a get request and checking the status code of uh, the request again as uh, we always do. So guys a request was successfully got a 200 code returned now creating a beautiful soup object so soup html dot content and l xml parser and using so this uh, will give me a beautiful soup object and this uh, beautiful soup object will have all of our data all of our complete html page so we have got our page here and let's uh, just quickly go through the page to see that we are getting data in the correct format and uh, we are not getting any JSON format or anything. So if we go down so we can see this uh, all the tags ATAC, uh, HRF and all that uh, that we, uh, we are getting the tag. So if uh, you are getting these kinds of tag we saw all the tags that mean we are getting the data in a HTML page not in JSON page. So we are getting this tag so we are okay to go with uh, passing this data now so the next thing that I want to grab is uh, so I want to grab the company name so let's see where the company name is coming so inspect this and um, the company name is coming in this uh, div tag class job info item if uh, we go a bit up so this div tag and this class job container it contains my complete job information so from there if I can go to this uh, class or this class if I take the a tag out and uh, from that a tag if I take the text out I will get my information related to the company so I will get the company name so that's uh, what I'm doing now so for creating an empty list and then writing a full loop for the company in BS object dot find all go to div tag class job header from there just a take out a tag from there take out text and dot stripe so that's uh, we do always so uh, these are the company's name that I get so all the companies uh, company name I have grabbed now the next is a job title so let's see where the job title is coming again so if uh, we see job title 
the job title is coming under again this a tag and this is under this uh, div class saved job wrap and if you go further up it's uh, again under this uh, job container so we can go this uh, job container class and we can take the second a tag out or we can try to find this uh, div class so we can try that or we can go here and then take a second a tag out and then we can get out data so let's uh, get to the code so again creating an empty list and for the title in bs object dot find all div uh, class job containers so i'm doing to the top class i'm going to the job container and from there i'm going to append it to my list of title dot find all find all a tag now again i'm doing find all a tags now if you see here under this uh, job container we have got two a tag one a tag is coming for the company name the other uh, a tag is coming here for the job title so if i take out the zero index i will get the company names out but i want the job title so i will take the first index out then i will get the all of uh, this uh, job titles out so um that's uh, what i'm doing there so title dot find all a tag from there and uh, just uh, give me the first index out and uh, do dot text uh, dot stripe so if i run the cell i will get all the job titles so if we see this uh, we have uh, got all our job title senior analyst data scientist senior quantum research scientist so we have all of uh, this uh, job titles now next thing i want to grab is uh, the location so if we see the location is available here and inspect it so location is coming under uh, this uh, div class job info amp lock so employee location so if we take out this uh, class and from there if you take out the text we will get our location so that's uh, what i'm going to do so creating an empty list again writing a for loop go to this uh, div tag and from there class job info amp lock do a dot append and take out span dot text dot stripe so let's see is uh, that in the span so that's in span so go here then go to the span tag from there just take out the dot text and dot stripe so that's uh, we are doing so if i run the cell i will get all the locations and they are all in california so santa monica la and most are in la and then other areas of uh, the greater la so the next thing that i'm trying to do is uh, finding all the complete job description so the complete job description comes when i click on this particular job opening so if i click on that i will get this job description here on the tab these are all tabs from here if i go to this job tab i will get this complete location so that's how it's working now to reach here what i have to do is uh, first i have to find how to reach here how to reach this thing so to do that what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to just click on this and i'm going to try to find where i have got some kind of link so you see in this first a tag itself in the first this a tag itself we have this link so if we just grab this link if i click on this link what you will see is uh, all these uh, jobs will open uh, this is the link for that job itself so guys if i click on that link that's uh, what i get i get this uh, complete job so this is a page for that job itself so what i have to do now is take out this link and then 
I will take out all of uh, these uh, links from this page and then I will go to all of uh, these links and from there I will take out the job description so that uh, that that's uh, what we are going to do so this line of code that's uh, what I'm doing here I'm creating an empty list for links to store my links then writing a for loop and go to div class job container and from there just I want to take out my link so that's uh, that will be uh, I dot a and from there it will be HRF so HRF attribute if we see an a tag HRF attribute contains my link but I will append this uh, link with uh, my Glassdoor dot in so that's uh, what I'm doing here so take out hrf and glassdoor.co.in and i'm concatenating it with uh, this glassdoor base link and then i'm appending it back to my links list so if i run this cell i will get the complete list of the links now in the next code i'm going to each of uh, these links and grab the job information so I'm going to grab this and so I'm creating this uh, description empty list again and writing a for loop that uh, for the link for links to go to all the links then make a get request to that particular link so using our request library then creating a beautiful soup object again bs and then writing a for loop on that so let's see when I click on this job up. let's see we are this uh, complete description is coming so inspect and if uh, we see it's in this uh, p tag but I want complete information so this complete information will come under this uh, div class job description content or, or I can just uh, take out this job description container so this uh, will have all of my information so that's uh, what I want to grab so writing a for loop for job and BS dot find all div tag ID job description container from there just uh, give me that a uh, description out and append it into the description list so it will take time because uh, it is going to all of uh, those pages and then make a get request to all of those pages then create a beautiful soup object for all of those pages so um that's uh, for that reason it's going to take some time so the code has run and now let's see what we have uh, got in our description and as you will see that we have grabbed all this uh, data and we have all of the information related to whatever was available in that job description so it contains all of that information so once you grab it uh, you might need to clean it uh, further because a lot of uh, these new lines are coming and these kind of things so that uh, you will need to clear further that's how you can actually grab any kind of data from Glassdoor so just be clear as uh, Glassdoor is a uh, kind of strict regarding web scrapping so it will be better if you use some proxies or some IP services providers so some kind of API so uh, if you use that it will be easier to scrap data and uh, you will not get blocked because Glassdoor is a uh, kind of strict in terms of uh, web scrapping so that is all for today my tetchy friends if you like the video please like and subscribe to our channel see you in the next video tutorial and do not stop visiting our website leave your comments below and ask me any question you have i will be very very happy to answer them link is given in the description of uh, this video to get code and full material stay happy stay safe stay tetchy